Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. Um, today, guys, I wanted to share with you some folklore, history, and some uses for these little stones. They're called fairy stones. I don't know if you guys have any. Um, they're usually found in isolated areas along the shores of a few water bodies in Quebec, Canada. These unique natural formations are created by growth of microorganisms and colonies, commonly known as clay concretions. Native people living in the far north call them fairy stones. According to native le legend, they bring health and prosperity, protect against evil spirits, and bring good luck to fishermen and hunters. Larger specimens often occupy a Space, a place in honor in of honor in dwellings while small ones are worn as good luck necklaces during hunting and fishing expeditions lovers often offer the most beautiful stones or the most beautiful ones they have to their beloved now some of you guys may own some of these fairy stones I picked this little gem up at the gym show if you went back and looked at um, um, my gym videos um, you know, or what I got at the gym show you'll see that I did pick up a fairy stone I've never had one before let's talk about some of the primary uses for this stone it's good for balancing and meditation stone um, for recentering at the extensive exposure to a powerful yang environment if you need to restore yourself um, meditate with calcite is highly recommended restoring balance is critical to your well-being the fairy stone can bring good luck and prosperity it can give you energies of good fortune and abundance especially when you work industrially and in a down-to-earth manner a fairy stone will give you soothing energies that will make you feel calm and centered. It will protect your physical body and bring you an improved emotional well-being. It will aid in spiritual grounding and help you form a strong connection with the natural world. It will guide you in making contact with nature spirits and fairies, of course. This stone will inspire you to accept yourself wholeheartedly flaws and all when you can truly understand where you are coming from and what motivates you you will be able to better navigate life whatever your beliefs are the energies that resonate with the fairy stone will bring forth a powerful vibration of unconditional love for others and for the earth so do you guys have any fairy stones um, if you do, please um, let me know how you work with your fairy stones. Do you have it in necklaces? Do you carry it with you? I think I'm going to put this one um, in my purse and carry it along with me um, for protection and luck. Um, so I'd like to hear you guys' um, stories if you do have any fairy stones, if you've ever found any. Um, fairy stones, um, how do you use yours, um, what have they done to, for you, you know, brought into your life, how do, do you use them in rituals or in your magic, um, spells, do you have them on your altar, but I think this little baby, I'm going to carry this one in my purse, and I know you can put these in jewelry and wear them for protection and luck. Um, I don't know if you guys have made any jewelry. This would probably be a nice piece to make, you know, a good, um, necklace out of. But I think I'm just going to stick this one in my purse and carry it with me at all times. So just a little history information and uses for fairy stones. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, love each and every one of you. Hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friend.